just checked, but let's see how the potato's doing. This is Meekshi requesting systems test. All sounds good. Now for a nice cup of tea and a quiet day of science. Oh, please let tonight's guest be more interesting. I know, I know, it's my own fault. I should book better guests. I shouldn't procrastinate, blah, blah, blah. Wait, we're off the air, right? Yeah, we're off air for the dish rotation. This is Chickalina. We're back to As It Flappens. With me on the line is Frank from West Mabukiville. <clears throat> Frank! Well, yesterday we took turns looking through Lord Equine's telescope at the cosmic potato. It was quite something, you know, seeing a potato all the way in outer space. Hold the phone. A potato in space? What are you talking about? Oh, you haven't heard? A sheep scientist sent a potato into orbit yesterday. For the life of me, I can't remember her name. She's small and wears glasses. Looks rather shy. Mikshi. Mikshi? <gasps> Why didn't you tell me you were launching a potato into space? This is life-changing news for me. I need you as a guest on my show. Tonight. Tonight? In one hour, actually. But, but... My ratings are at an all-time low. If I get the first interview with Mabukiville's most famous scientist, I'll be back in the clear. Please, Mikshi, this means everything to me. Okay, well, how about... I can just tell you everything you need to know about the potato right here. <laughs> This is an experiment I've been working on for weeks, months actually, to put a potato into orbit. It's never been done before and I, I've never broken a world record. That's perfect. Just say all that in front of the 1.5 million listeners of my show. How many listeners? Mikshi, please. My job depends on it. If your job depended on something only I could do, I would do it. You know I would. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. Oh. Thanks, Mikshi! You are the best! Be there for 5.45! No later. <laughs> Thank you very much. My name's Mikshi, and I'm the scientist who potatoed into space. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. I'm Mikshi. I'm a scientist, and I'm the one who... Ugh, too much I'm. Who am I kidding? I'll sound ridiculous on air. Coming up in half an hour, we bring you an exclusive interview with the scientist who changed everything with the launch of her remarkable cosmic potato. Stay tuned. Oh, I'll take a book, please. Thank you. JJ? Huh? Hey, look, it's, 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 it's
I'm so sorry. You need to evacuate the building now. You and everyone at the MPBC. Okay. This is a new low. I'm serious. The cosmic potato is headed on a collision course for your building at exactly six o'clock. Sure. Six o'clock. How convenient for you. I promise I'll do the interview once I figure out how to stop this potato. I'm so sorry. Just please. Samantha, how quickly can we get a sheep in the studio to do this interview? Any sheep. What do I do? Wait a minute. I could use that satellite dish. Let me run a simulation. Chickalina at MPBC's As It Flappens. I'm sorry I missed your call, but if you leave your name and number... Yep, hurry up! I'll get back to you as soon as I have a free moment, which may not be soon, as I'm a really busy chicken. Chickalina, it's Thanks. me... Thanks! Chickalina, it's me, she. I, I don't know who's in charge of tilting the satellite dish towards West Mabukiville, but at 6 o'clock, the dish needs to be angled at exactly 35 degrees. I repeat, exactly 35 degrees. Please, Chickalina, please pick up. La, 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 la. Honestly, Samantha, sometimes my voice is so loud in my own head that it hurts my ears. Hi, this is Mikshi. I know it sounds crazy, but at exactly 6 o'clock, the satellite dish needs Thank to... Thank you for calling the MPBC. All of our agents are currently busy. Please stay on the line. We appreciate your... I picked the wrong day to forget my prescription sunglasses. Tonight on As It Flavins, how did science get its extra C? Why isn't it pronounced science? Silent C expert Cecilia joins me in studio to explain. But first, the exclusive interview we promised you with Mikshi, the sheep scientist everyone is talking about. Ugh! Thirty-five degrees. Thirty-five degrees. JJ, nice Mikshi costume. Thank goodness you're here. At least I have one friend who's interested in saving my show. <laughs> Mikshi made up this lie about the potato on fire. What's so hard about doing a radio interview? <laughs> well, of course I know she's shy. She's my best friend. What? Overriding my control. Chickalina, he asked you what your first question will be. I need to call Mikshi right now and apologize. For 20 seconds to air. She's not picking up. Oh. 
Samantha, cut the power. I'm not doing the show. The power's gone out. Slow down, slow down! Stop at 35, please! Stop at 35! talking about I mean it's it's a long story but the potato almost hit your building and it could have been really bad hold the phone Mikshi huh? actual Mikshi did did you just say the potato almost hit this building and wiped us all out yes <gasps> no way Samantha turn that dish back on we need this story on the air right now I mean I mean, never mind. You don't have to. I... it... it would just be great to interview someone as smart and impressive as you. I... you're one of the most interesting people I know, and... it would be an honor. Really? But it's up to you. You know what? If I'm brave enough to save the city, I'm brave enough to go on air. Oh, Mikshi! Oh. knowing the potato was so very close to collision. Uh, yes. Um, my answer is yes. Were you scared, exhilarated, indifferent? Did you know that in that moment that you were a hero? Um, um... Mikshi, pick one of the above. A, scared, B, exhilarated, C, indifferent. Just say a letter. Uh, A. Wait. What was A? Um, it was... Uh, you know what? Forget it. Let's just cut to a commercial. <laughs>